Hey there, welcome back guys. Today we're going to be experimenting with a different gimbal protector. Hopefully this one works. Um, uh, there have been some mixed reviews about it, but why don't we just get started and see which one they sent us. So this one's the RCSTO. Um, I believe it's in red and comes with a little screwdriver. Um, which is nice and it also has ah, nice uh, two gimbal protectors um, so if it doesn't work out of course we'll send it back hopefully it does um, this is really nice though so I guess that would be the um, left and the other one would be the right too bad they don't mark them um, the hardest part about this will probably be getting off the, uh, the other screws from, that we put on the other day since the other gimbal pr protector didn't work. Um, so, yeah, so look, actually, this one is the right. Um, oh, wow, it's not going to work. I can tell you right off the bat. Hopefully. Hold on, let's find out. Nope. You know why? Because... Uh, I was gonna say unless you take off, take apart. No, that fit in really nicely from here, from up there. Um, but it won't go in because the bumper guard's in the way. Unless we put the bumper guard in like that, and then voila. Okay. So we do without one bumper guard. Actually, you know what? Before actually screwing these in, um, might as well try it like this before taking it apart just to make sure and I can tell it, it's not let's see well that's not going to go in because of the screw but we can test it and then maybe I would say squeeze it in like that right um, and then of course if the screw comes out right it should fit right in nicely. All right, but well, let's just see if uh, <clears throat> if the uh, let's just see if we can if it doesn't photobomb the video. That's what we really want to see. And then we'll just take it apart. Um, take the screw out, actually. All right, turn that on. Let that turn on. Pull up my antennas. And turn on the drone. File a flight plan. And we'd always do that with before you fly. Um, I wish there was just one button you can press. Like literally instead of doing this whole checklist um, that would be ideal to have that out of the way let's see and then the goggles oh ah bummer yeah so i guess it's a good thing i didn't take the drone apart um to uh um to do this i'll, I'll show you guys hold on one second aircraft in low power state all right so we're gonna and I will just let it take off. Start the propellers. And then I'm just gonna move the camera, let it take off. Let's see how many satellites, 14 satellites. That's interesting. Usually we have more. Let it. The bumper guard. So not really ideal. I mean, it basically photo bombs your footage. Um, I guess you just have to fly careful. Um, you know, this isn't for everyone. Oh, there you go. If you, if you fly to the side, um, but as you can see, they're there. They, they're, they're just going to be um, the uh, elephant in the room. So, um, 
you know, I hope this video helped you. Some people don't mind flying with the bumper guards, but, you know, if you want your footage to be cinematic, there's no way you're going to have cinematic footage. Um, unless, hold on, let me try something. Unless you're going to fly like this at full speed ahead, right? But then, what if you're just, you know, what if someone likes to fly slow, like the slow flyer, and then the who actually speeds up their footage in post-production, right? Um, so, no, nah, I don't see this working out. I don't know, let me know what you think. Um, you know, yay, nay, no-go. Um, what would you do? Would you keep these? Um, anyway, I hope this video helped you in trying to decide on which uh, bumper guards to get. Um, feel free to leave your ideas and suggestions for other videos down below. Um, remember to subscribe and I'll see you all next time.